Let's take a look at this problem. We have two vectors and we're asked to find the resultant. And they also want to know what is the magnitude and angle of that resultant. So I'm just going to color code these so it's easier to talk about them. So I have a green vector pointed straight down. And I have this orange vector pointed down into the right. Now, first thing we have to think about just intuitively, um, since this says meters per second, if something is being moved downward and it's moving being downward, uh, moved downward into the right, then we, we realize that definitely better be, the resultant better be pointed downward and maybe a little bit right as well. So we have to add vectors tip to tail. And I think it's easier to move this vertical one. So I'm gonna slide that vertical one so that its tail is lined up at the tip of the orange. And this is uh, every two centimeters on this page, so maybe I'll just put that here. I've already checked this before. Every two, cent uh, two squares is one centimeter. So I can just count every two squares. This is one, two, three, four centimeters long. So I'm gonna draw one, two, three, four centimeter vector pointed straight down. And now I have both of my vectors added together. The resultant is just from our start to our finish. So let me get a ruler. We can draw a nice straight line. And that's my resultant vector. Now there's two ways to find the magnitude. Um, we can do that using a scale drawing, which this is drawn perfectly to scale, so I can measure the length. So let's do that first. Um, I measure from tail, put zero at the tail to the tip. This looks like it's 9.567, maybe a little tiny bit more. I'll go with 9.7. So this is 9.7 centimeters long. And using the scale of this drawing, the magnitude is now 9.7 centimeters times two. So we get 19.4 meters per second. So that's our magnitude. What's our angle? We can grab a protractor And we're going to measure the angle. There's a lot of angles here. There's an angle between the green and the red. It's an angle between the red and the orange. But we measure all of our angles in physics. We're going to be measuring from the x-axis. There's actually not even an x-axis drawn here. But we can think of that as the horizontal line. Okay? So we always measure from the horizontal. So there's kind of this imaginary horizontal line. Since we're using grid paper, that line is actually there. So we want to measure the angle between our vector, our resultant vector, and the horizontal. So we put the point of our protractor right at the vertex. And I'm just checking over here to make sure zero is still on that same horizontal line. And then we're going to look at where our vector crosses our protractor. And this crosses almost exactly at 55. It looks like maybe just a little bit less, but I'm going to go with 55 here. Maybe just under 55. So this is 55 degrees. And so now I have my angle and my magnitude of my resultant vector. In the next video, I'm going to explain how we can find that angle and magnitude using uh, Pythagorean theorem and some trigonometry. That would be a good way to check your work. Thanks.